Hello and welcome to a new vlog. I am back home in the Bay Area and please excuse the mess in the back because my closet right now is a disaster because I was unpacking yesterday and then I'm heading back to LA in a few days so I'm gonna have to repack but I wanted to start this vlog with something that I'm very excited about and that is a chocolate factory tour and the company is called The Good Chocolate you've probably seen me eat it in other vlogs or on Instagram and my stories they invited me over there for a tour and my mom and brother are coming along also because they thought it would be fun and so we are going to head over there now and I will take you guys along and show you guys what it's all about back from the chocolate factory and that was such a cool and interesting experience for me because I love chocolate but I never really knew the step-by-step -step process how it goes from the bean to the final product that's sold in stores so it was really cool to see all of that and now I'm back home and we have some packages to open so let's do it Our first package is the invitation to the Chanel show and unfortunately this season I'm not able to be in Paris even though I really really wish I was there. So they sent an invitation to view their show digitally and it came with this really cool little thing that opens and it's like the Chanel Hollywood sign. Next, we have these beautiful Amina Muadi pumps, and I found these on Forward by Elise Walker. Amina Muadi shoes are kind of difficult to find in your size because they always sell out super quickly. And Forward had these, I actually pre ordered them, and this is a size 39 and a half because I initially got the 39, but they were too small. So hopefully, the 39 and a half will fit. Let's try them on and see. These look like they fit much better than the size 39 and it's a pink mirrored pump with multicolored crystals. This next piece is a Chanel necklace that Thread Styling helped me find. Thread Styling is like a personal shopping service and I use them to find things when it's like sold out in the US. I will try on to show you guys what it looks like but it's basically a chain choker necklace and it has these Chanel charms on the bottom. There's a heart one and then the other one is a CC and then it clasps with this little CC thing here. It looks a little bit awkward with what I'm wearing because of this collar, but you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And if it's styled properly, I think it would be so cute. I just love the little charms that it has and the length is adjustable so you can make it longer or tighter like a choker. So I'm really glad they were able to find this piece because I am in love with it. I'm kind of getting into necklaces now. I was never really a necklace person, but now I'm kind of into them. I'm angling this down so you guys can see better, but this is from Louis Vuitton and I think it's Mooncakes even though the Moon Festival is already over. Let's open and see. And I was right, they are cute little Louis Vuitton mooncakes. So this flavor is mini white lotus seed paste. And I think each of them are probably different flavors. I just noticed while I was closing the box that there's this little knob in the back and if you turn it, the little thing in the middle spins and it plays this little song. So that's kind of fun and cute. I am back in LA and back at the same hotel as last time which is the La Pier in West Hollywood and I really liked my stay here last time so I decided to come back again 
and they also gave me the same room which is really nice because I liked this room and I also know the layout and where everything is so I was able to unpack very quickly although I haven't finished unpacking quite yet because I landed just a few hours ago and just got checked in and I also had some packages come in from the hotel so we will open that up later tonight these other two packages from Apple were a delivery that I just had for AirPods because what happened was when I was on the plane I realized I left my AirPods back home so right when I landed I placed an order for the AirPods and I didn't think that order went through so I ordered it again when I was in my car but I realized that the first order did go through, the email was just delayed, and so then I ended up with two pairs, but they said I can just return the pair that I don't want anymore, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow when I go to Erewhon, because Apple has a store by the Grove, and Erewhon is very close to the Grove. Good morning, I am currently at the Grove because I have to return these extra Apple AirPods, and then after I do that, I'm going to head over to Erewhon for some lunch, and this afternoon I have a shoot over in Malibu, so I'm gonna do hair and makeup, and that's kind of the plan for today. Now I'm waiting in line to get into Erewhon and this is what it's always like during lunchtime because everyone likes to come to the hot food bar here. I ended up getting a bunch of veggies. We have some shaved Brussels sprouts. This is sauteed cabbage and we also have sauteed spinach, broccoli, and quinoa. And to drink, I got the high vibe juice, which has apple, pineapple, rose water, lemon, and beets. My lift is almost here and I'm all ready to go. I have one outfit that I'm wearing under this robe and then the other three are in that luggage. And this Erewhon bag just has some snacks and food and drinks for my photographer, hairstylist, and makeup artist. So let's go and start some glam. Finally back at the hotel and it was such a long day because we went all the way out to Malibu to shoot during sunset So now it is 10.08 and I am so tired and hungry because I haven't eaten all afternoon But we got some really cool photos and we shot four looks one of the dresses matched the sunset And that was the only outfit that I actually got a clip of to insert the other three I completely forgot to take videos of and I want to show you guys the hair and makeup quickly before I take it off because I am kind of obsessed with it. I love the hair especially. I think it's so cool with this like swirly wave thing. And the makeup was blue and orange but then we added the black eyeshadow on to make it smokier for the last look because it was like a black dress. So now I am going to take off my makeup and have some dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, I just got changed to go to Dog Pound and I'm wearing this cropped Nike shirt and some white ALO leggings. My friend is actually coming to meet me here and then we're gonna go over together. It's her first time doing Dog Pound so we thought we would book a little semi-private session and after we do that, we're gonna go do the stretching and that's kind of the plan for today and it's so close to my hotel. You literally just walk through this little alleyway that you can even see from my window it's that little gray street right there you go through and then dog pound is like behind that building so i am going to go down now and wait for her and this afternoon i also need to open those packages that came because i haven't gotten a chance to do that yet so i will definitely do that today as well <music> Good morning. 
morning. So last night, I did not get a chance to open these packages because one, I was busy answering emails all night and two, I also broke my nail and it really, really hurt because this time it broke at where the flesh is. Like, that sounds really disgusting, but it cracked really, really far up. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like right there. You can see the crack. And so it's really far up my nail bed and it was very, very painful. So I was clearly not in the mood to do this. And I got a nail appointment this morning to have all of my nail extensions removed because my nails clearly need a break from it. And I've been doing it for like two months now, so it's time for them to breathe. So after we do this, I'm going to head to my nail appointment. Let's first open these three packages. This first piece is a Peter Doe cropped sweater. Now it probably looks kind of weird because it looks like one long piece, but it basically goes over like that and it's a turtleneck and it kind of just goes over your boobs and has this little super cropped effect. And you can wear like a tank or something underneath and it'll look so cute. And I got the black color. It comes in gray and then I think Essence has like a limited beige brown color so i'll link them down below if you guys want to check out the other colors but i decided to go for black because i thought it would be the easiest color to layer things underneath and it's like a very thick and heavy knit and peter doe is one of my favorite favorite designers i met him at the lvmh prize and he and his team are just so nice so kind and i love his stuff i mean i think he's one of the coolest new designers out there so this is our first peter doe piece and this next one is also from peter doe and it's a slightly different style it's actually very similar to that one So this next one is this little navy cropped piece and it's a much thinner material like that one. It's literally like the same style. It's the super cropped but this is more of a, a thinner like ribbed material versus that's like a very thick chunky sweater. And it also comes with this little tank that you wear underneath. So it's kind of like a little matching set. That one doesn't come with a tank or anything, but this one does and the tank is black and this little piece that goes on top, this is a very dark navy. So I could even wear this tank under the black one, which is cool, and I can wear it with the navy. So if you're gonna layer like this look under a blazer or something, then it would definitely be better to wear the thinner one because that sweater you can't put anything over it but i thought they were very cute basics to have i mean i wouldn't call them basics but they're very versatile and you can easily mix and match them and wear them with different looks and i really like the shape of this tank also it has like a square neckline and it's a nice thick kind of like ribbed tank material and it also has this like little metal logo here so those are the peter doe pieces and the very last package is actually from Topshop. These are the Topshop sweatpants and it's half black and half white, which I thought was kind of interesting when I saw them online. And to be honest, I don't have too many sweatpants because I'm not really a sweatpants kind of person. But now we are all spending so much time at home. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, they're kind of cute and decided to order them and now here they are so that is it for the little unboxing this morning and now i'm going to get ready to head to my nail appointment and get these nails removed and i'm also going to go to erewhon today because today's my last full day in la and every time before i head back to northern california i always take a big erewhon trip and stock up on all the snacks and food and everything because my family also loves some of the food from erewhon and obviously they don't have a grocery store in northern california yet although i really really wish they do so i'm going to buy a bunch of stuff I also have to pick up one last thing from my alterations lady and I think that's about it. Yeah, so just a few errands.
it is the end of the day and I just got back from Erewhon and this time I actually spent like an hour and a half there because I was looking for like cool new snacks and things I didn't really have anything else planned in the evening so I had time to like explore stuff so I want to show you guys some of the things that I got and yes I also do have a mosquito bite on my finger but at least it's just one so that's okay I think it's probably from the heat here in LA because it's been like 90 degrees here and it still feels like summer even though we're in October so this is what we got this time first we have these two cookies and this one is oatmeal chocolate and this is oatmeal raisin and they're both vegan and gluten free so I can't wait to try them this is my brother's favorite potato chip it's white truffle and sea salt so I got six bags of this and this is some new chocolate I'm going to try. The brand is called Goodio, and this is coconut flavor. And this one is called Ariba, which I think means vanilla. The ingredients are also very clean. It's just like cacao beans, coconut palm sugar, cacao butter, and vanilla powder. I got a few squares of the good chocolate. And this is like another little dessert thing. It's tahini maple caramel. We have some more chocolate because I'm trying to find some like cool new chocolates. I love chocolate, so I'm always looking for cool new brands and flavors. And this one is sour cherry and almond. It's like a raw chocolate bark. This is a little curry chicken sandwich that my mom wants to try. And here we have a little banana loaf that's gluten-free. And this is a bark. It's like a, a buttery crunch bark. And it has like a bunch of nuts in it. My dad will probably love this. And some tofu sticks. And these are two pies because my brother loves their pie. This is an apple crumble. And this one is a mixed berry crumble. And of course, we have all of the favorite bread. This is the fruit and nut bread, and we got six half loaves. And last but not least, we have this mosquito spray because I got another mosquito bite on my finger. So that is the Erewhon haul, and now I need to pack because my flight is tomorrow morning and I don't have anything in my luggages yet. I'm going to end this vlog here, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing another LA vlog. And please go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!